Yo, yo, yo! Hey folks, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Alright then, this time around we are playing as a uh, Hufflepuff. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> we're playing as a Gryffindor student, I've still gotten used to saying Hufflepuff. Yeah, we're playing as a Gryffindor student this time around. I've created a uh, female character, so it's a witch this time. And uh, yeah, we have basically uh, completed the first mission, the prologue, and got ourselves to the Sorting Hat Ceremony, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and say, as a uh, Gryffindor student, I can't wait to start classes, question mark? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I can say that. It doesn't really matter, because I just want to see what the house-specific quest is, I must say. Um, I think I've already uploaded the house quest for Slytherin, and house-specific quest, and it was sort of a disappointment. So, let's see what Gryffindor has in store. Of course, I do want to uh, explore their common room, so that's why I've created this character and gone about with... Uh, yeah, choosing the Gryffindor house, so that's what you're expected from this video. Of course, you knew that when you clicked on it. <laughs> so, I think as a Gryffindor student, I'll just go ahead and select the first option. I'm that's... looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. I wonder... Hmm... I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm... What is it? Right, now before we continue, I actually wanted to show you something. I hope I can. Let's see if we... Oh, we can't go in the start menu. Well, that's a shame. Because I actually wanted to show you something. Maybe, uh... Hmm... How do I get about with it then? <laughs> I guess uh, what I can do is I can show you that uh, when we play as a uh, Ravenclaw student. Yeah, I guess for now we can just go ahead and see what is um, Gryffindor's speciality. Curiosity, I think that's more of a Ravenclaw thing. Ro loyalty <laughs> would be uh, Hufflepuff. Ambition, Slytherin. So I'm going to go ahead and say Daring. It doesn't matter. Of course, if you're wrong, we can go ahead and choose again. But I think it's Daring. So, yep, let's go ahead and select that. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, yes, so definitely accept house. Okay, a black screen. Better be <laughs> Gryffindor! Ooh, fancy robes. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I believe each house has uh, Quite an four it's lovely to meet of your you. classmates in it, including I'm yourself, Professor I think. Weasley. Would you be so kind then again, to that was at least the case comment. in Slytherin. I, I felt as though myself. Gryffindor has more. It seems as though Gryffindor has six main saying, characters, which are in your I'm class, so basically in your grade. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this right. way. Let's go meet the fat lady. <laughs> it's oh, most it uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You are a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The 
password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Nice. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I must say, at the time of recording this video, HBO Max, or for all you know, it's just called Max now, has announced that they're making a Harry Potter series, so that sounds really exciting. I have honestly mixed thoughts about it though, because uh, I've only seen the movies, I haven't read the Looks books, like so. Gone. Oh. Let's head to the common room. Yo, this common room is quite tall, it's big. Is it because it's in the tower? I would assume so. And uh, yeah, it looks quite similar to what they showcase in the movies, because that's the thing, with Gryffindor, they, uh, well, majority of the scenes were based around this common room, thanks to the main protagonist, Harry, being from the house. <laughs> Yo, I know this. This is the Demiguise. Right, okay. Phoenix, Demiguise. Uh, what's that on there? Hmm. Is that just a dragon? It looks like a dragon. Yo, it's like the walls are made from carpet. <laughs> I think they're just curtains or cloth. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Hmm? I think I dropped some bucks. <laughs> right. Mirrors still don't work, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> they're pretty decent bedrooms. Oh, okay. How many are there in our room? So let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. Okay. Hmm. But well, we also have a seating area and a desk. Yo, Gryffindor got it good! None of the other rooms had a uh, table, did they? Or maybe they did. But they had fruits and vegetables. Not vegetables, just fruits. <laughs> I'm so excited to get back into the game because uh, I've taken a break in between. I was uh, basically playing... Uh, what's that game? Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, I got into car racing a bit. It was fun. I like the uh, PS5 feature where you can use your controller as a steric. So, yeah, that kept me going. I finished the game. Uh, pretty fun. I don't feel as though I needed to record and upload videos for that though. And I might start... Uh... What was that? What's this? Talking mirror? Yo, what? Oh, don't tell me. That's muggle fashion, isn't it? I can always tell. So very drab. Alright, so cool. <laughs> okay. There's also a drawing board here. I wonder... Oh, yo, what's this? What, what is this? Hold on. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, oh, yo, that's a troll on the wall. Uh, there is. Oh, I knew you should know the names of these. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really trying to remember, but yeah, failed. Uh, dragon, okay. Unicorn, that's pretty neat. Did we see unicorn? I kind of feel like we saw unicorns in the game. Hmm. Again, it's been such a long while since I played the game. It's, uh, yeah, I'm probably trying to remember. <laughs> Hey yo, there's a staircase going down, okay. What's this here? Is it can we light this place on fire later? Once we learn incendio, just to warm up the kettle? What's a random kettle though? Oh, it's uh, one of the hands, like the ones we saw in the haunted hogsmeade uh, quest. Okay. Pretty neat. Yeah, hey, what's this? Hmm, okay. A uh, random flower pot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a pretty huge common room. Oh, they also have fruits, okay. Mm. Now, which way is the common room? Yeah, it seems like it's in a clock tower. This, um, of course, there's no clocks. <laughs> Yo, this common room is massive, though. I think it might be the largest common room out of all of them. Even Hufflepuff is very compact, actually. It's not this big. Oh, what did I get? Oh, 69 chicken nuggets, alright. What's this? Is that a peacock? What? Could be a phoenix, a blue phoenix. <laughs> Yo, this is sweet. You can get an aerial view of the place. Hmm. So I wonder if every year only a fixed number of students get admission in Hogwarts. Uh, Hogs. What? <laughs> Hogwarts. <laughs> Because, I mean, uh, if you think about it, 
each grade only has around four students from that one house, which means a total of 12 students in a year. That can't be right. <laughs> okay, there are two staircases, both leading downstairs. Let's see, let's take this one. And here we are. Okay, um, hmm. And I got a feeling like, wait, this is the ladies' room, okay. Right. That's quite inconvenient just to use a washroom. With the staircase. Hmm. Nothing mysterious in any of these. Nope, just uh, simple washrooms. Hmm. I was half expecting something to be there. <laughs> oh, you can go further down, okay. I kind of feel like that might be the exit though, so... Exit to the common room, so... Let's go up and let's go down this staircase. For a second there, I thought that was a Hufflepuff student. I was like, how's she in here? <laughs> Yo, how many staircases are in this place? And where are all these leading? Oh, wait a second. Level Oh, level 1 locked. Okay, I thought this was the house chest. Hmm. Am I? What? No, I definitely came from there. So, this place... Yo, this common room is massive! And these random blue phoenixes all over the place. Now glass... Oh, there's a trophy here. Hmm. What's this? Oh, I guess it's just... It can't be the Gryffindor emblem. It is? I think it is. I thought it was a lion. Hmm. Yo! How did you get up there? What? Also, is this... Yeah, this is very similar to what they uh, showcase in the movies. Right. So yeah, I was saying earlier that uh, they have announced the series with seven seasons coming out. Which is... Oh, yo, is this my common... Is this my uh, bedroom? No. Nope. This is so confusing. Because I'm already lost. This place is massive. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, they've introduced the... Uh, not the possibility, pretty much the series. Wait a second, that's the mascot, isn't it? Yep, that's the lion. Alright, that's quite majestic. So yeah, I can't uh, wait for that, because... Again, mixed thoughts, because... I really like the uh, cast from the uh, movies. So it'd be something to see who they cast as... Uh, well, all the main characters. <laughs> Yo, I'm so lost, where am I going? Alright, let's figure this out. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Right, so I, I, yeah, I definitely want to see um, who all gets casted for the different roles. Mm hmm, okay. Here we are, finally. Chrisida, Gareth, Nelly. Okay, where are these guys? Hmm. Again, the common room is massive. Anything if I get told, I shot that that's all right. I really thought I had it. Priscilla Bloom. Why did I remember this character from when we first played the game? Hmm. Did, did we have a mission with her? Oh, yeah, I think it was something to do with uh, books in the library or pages in the library. I think that was with her. Hmm. All right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Well, Cressida, you should probably talk to Nelly, because uh, she knows a thing or two about this. <laughs> Okay, perhaps you should need a bit more practice. Your casting needs work. Uh, there Don't we go. worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, 
awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> okay. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Oh, non-verbal casting, I see. Okay, I was under the impression that what she meant was uh, casting without the wand. My bad. Yeah, because Nelly, uh, or what's her name? W w Natty, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> Nelly might be an entirely different person, but Natty, she uh, she knows how to cast spells without the wand. That's, at least that's how they do it in Vagatu, right. <laughs> Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Oh, is there a portrait of uh, nearly headless Nick behind us? Oh, no. Never mind. He has his entire head. Oh, there's the house chest. Sweet. Yeah, I should actually play this game at its entirety with uh, students from different houses, just so I can unlock these chests and uh, find out the different robes. Yeah, because I've been just uh, basically making these characters for the house specific quest but yeah it'd be nice to see what they look like with the house specific robes hey yo this is the um oh no it's just cards okay i thought it was a pyramid with all the chocolates in it <laughs> i don't know if that was a thing or just i'm misremembering it who is this this is nelly okay so where's natty because uh gareth and there's also someone called pivot isn't it which means yes so Gryffindor might have a total of six students. Is that right? Have I counted that right? Yeah, yeah, because those are the only two. Pivot and uh, Natty, who we haven't seen. But uh, Slytherin definitely has four. Hufflepuff has four. Okay, so that misses up the count. <laughs> You'll like it. Trust me. Also, uh, I didn't notice if they had um, class numbers outside the bedrooms. Let's have a quick look. I think the closest one would be here. Let's see, not there. There's one downstairs. Let's have a look there if there's a class number written there. Hmm. Oh, they do have year fives. Okay, wait, year fives? Isn't that what we are? A fifth year student, yeah, okay. So this is our room? Wait a second. Oh yeah, this is probably our room. <laughs> I'm confused, I'm really confused. Hold up a second, because I think there's one more room downstairs. Where the lion was? Yeah, there's the lion, okay. This is also a room, isn't it? Yeah, this is a room, okay. But then where's the class written here? Hmm. Did they forget to put that in? Because now I'm just thoroughly confused. Also, I noticed there's a lot of trophies. I'm not sure if there are in Slytherin or Hufflepuff. I should probably visit the common rooms again just to find out. <laughs> right then, let's go ahead and talk to the remaining two. I think we need to go this way, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's go talk to Garrett. Oh, what's this? It'll be the next butter beer. What? Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Figure all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well... As I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. 
So there's Arthur. Is his name Arthur? Hmm. I kind of feel his name is Arthur. He holds. He holds the. Uh... Wait. Is he going to speak? Nope. Just shivering. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, oh wait. This is. Uh... Wait. What? This is Pivot, isn't it? I guess we'll be interacting with him later. Oh, that's the exit, right? Hmm. Okay. Then where is Natty? Wait. Oh, that's Nelly up there. Okay. Yeah, did we interact with Nelly? Hmm. Also, where is Natty? Right. Do you think that uh, Gryffindor has two more students just because one of them is the uh, nephew of uh, the headmistress and the other one, Natty, is the uh, is the daughter of a teacher? Is that why you think uh, Gryffindor has six students and the other uh, houses have only four? <laughs> well, I mean, why the uh, uneven numbers here? Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Wait, why would I ask that? You're not afraid of heights? Mm. It's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Either in our common room, or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor. Wait, can we go back? waiting for you outside nope. the common room. Oh, so Pivet does speak with us. <laughs> right. Well, we know what's gonna happen next. So what I'll do is I'll skip ahead and... Uh, when we reach the house specific quest, I believe it's after we activate the Merlin quest, that's when I'll continue the video. But I must say that uh, if they do make the series, and uh, since it's based entirely on the books, not the movies, I kind of want to say the one that I'll be most excited for would be, um, let's see if I get this right, Season 4? I think that's Goblet of Fire. So yeah, that's the one I'll be most excited for, because uh, truth be told, I felt that the movie didn't do justice to, well, anything. I mean, we didn't get to see the main Quidditch match, we didn't properly get to see any of the challenges. So yeah, major disappointment in my books. <laughs> and yeah, um, so I feel as though that would be the most interesting season for me. If it's, again, going to be based on the books and uh, some of our mates, they say how exciting the books have been. So yeah, can't wait for that. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll meet you in the house specific quest. <laughs> Yo, 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 we just completed the potions clause, and uh, with that I believe we have completed all the uh, quests that lead up to the house specific quest, so... Prof tell Professor Fig about the map chamber, hmm. Usually at this point, as a Slytherin student in my oh, that playthrough, uh, this is the point where the house specific quest had begun. 
I'm not sure if the hour specific quest starts at different. Oh, hold on. Is looking for you. You can find him near the great hall. Yeah, so this is it. Okay. The thing is, as a Slytherin student, it started after I completed the uh, Stranger mission, which is basically talking to what's that lady's name, Nora something, which is in the wilderness somewhere around. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Map. All right, all right. Let's see world map. It was around somewhere here, right after I'd spoken with uh, Natty. So it was about here, I believe. Yeah. So I was hoping that it will start there, but apparently I need to complete all the quests which were before this. Yeah. In order to start the, uh, in order to start the house specific quest. So since we are playing as a Gryffindor student, I believe our task is to speak with nearly headless Nick. That will be fun, because I've seen them before in my Hufflepuff walkthrough when I visited that room at night uh, where you can see all the ghosts dancing. It's I think a ghost ballroom or something. But yeah, having an entire interaction with him and uh, a mission oriented around uh, well, him and the Gryffindor house should be fun. As you can see clearly my character has got an upgrade <laughs> since the last time you might have seen her. Yeah, I think it was in the house robes back then. Now we got a fancy hat. I really like this hat because it adds an entirely new hairstyle. Which is not the case. Like, I'll show you what she looks like without the hat. So let's go in gear. Let's toggle the hat off. Yep. So that's her usual hair. She looks pretty. And then uh, you can add the hat and she has an entirely different hairstyle. So yeah. Pretty cool. Let's see how, what it looks like on the other caps. I mean, I guess she just ties her air inside the cap, but whatever it is, it, it looks cool. <laughs> I think it's the bow at the back, yeah. Alright, and then let's make our way to what I believe should be the Gryffindor common room, which is where the painting is at, and I have already... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Wait, can I jump through here? Mm, ah, oh, missed opportunity. Alright. Now, I haven't been keeping tabs on uh, when are the release dates for the other... Uh, oh, what's going on? Oh, it's Leviosa, right. Yeah, I've not been keeping tabs for when the game releases on other consoles. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Oh, he's here, okay. I thought he'd be uh, in the comic room. Uh, Hello. Yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Sure thing, that's what I'm here for. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. All right, that before that. Wait. How do you know about the book and its missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Come on, man. Separate your head from your body and show us. Only then you can claim to be nearly headless. Oh wait, he's nearly headless, right? Don't separate it. <laughs> Just you know, this tilt it around. Leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. Uh huh. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favour for me along the way. Anything, man. Go ahead. What you need? Hmm. A small favour in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Well, what you gonna do with that, though? Alright, anyways. I beg your pardon? Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ah, I suppose I can do that. <laughs> but why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Wait, are we going to get a wand now, handle here? If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast nope. beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Revelio. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Okay. Did you say tickle the pear? 
Yep, it's right yes, there, honey. In the painting. Where's it? I'll wait uh, right here. That that uh, right there. <laughs> get in the way of the house elves. Okay. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I don't think I've been here as a um, Gryffindor student, clearly, considering that <laughs> none of these things have been unlocked. Okay, we have already seen this. So, yeah, let's give it a try. Hello. Sprinkle maybe some vinegar. Oh. <laughs> ah! No, could not dodge in time, but never mind. <laughs> right then, let's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this game never stops to fascinate. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's uh. In the kitchen. What could be delicious food and what? Hmm. Sounds a bit peckish, likely. Certainly makes rookies job easier. The elves are definitely more interactive now. It's a welcome treat. Delicious. Mmm. It smells glorious in here. Cause uh, as a Hufflepuff student, when I tell you, oh wait a second, where did the food go? Where did the food go? <laughs> right, there's a Hufflepuff student when I came here, they weren't so welcoming. Oh, here it is. Mm. So much rotten food. Oh my god, there's mushrooms growing out of this pumpkin. And the fleas and the flies, oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't this food like magically disappear? Yo, what's this? What? Oh, it actually burned away. Did it burn away? Hello. Nope. It's still there. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, yeah, who are you? Student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Uh huh. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. <laughs> we can, Imagine. however, multiply. <laughs> having an unlimited food. Oh, she can. Okay, she can multiply. I was going to say that. What a hack. Getting then unlimited we food. Send it straight up to the Great Hall. Okay, that's good to know. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. Oh, that's quite kind of you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Well, did I mention Nick to her? To be honest, I wasn't listening. Because <laughs> I've been skipping these conversations from all the other different missions. Yeah. It's the same as the entrance to uh, Hufflepuff House. Let's grab a quick drink, since Finky doesn't mind. Yo, what in the world? Okay. What are they making, fam? Don't tell me that's what goes into butterbeer. That's the last time I drink butterbeer. Oh my god. What? That is atrocity. What is going on here? What are you making? Because whatever it is, I am not having that. Did you guys wash your feet? Okay, that's the last time I eat anything in this game. Now, what are you up to? Hmm. Is he making pieces? More like pies, aren't they? 
Hmm. It's just bread. <laughs> I suppose they're just. What, what is that? Are those. What? Hmm. I think that's just bread. For a second, I thought it was beans on bread. Because this is definitely just bread. Hmm. 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 Okay. Wait, are those pastries? Cupcakes and. Oh, yeah, they are. Alright. Oh, the, wow. <laughs> There's a whole assortment right here. Hmm. This I can have. Yo, what? Unless. Unless. That. That ingredient goes into these cakes, then that's horrible. Oh, I can actually move this. That's so cool. Alright. So we got what Headless Nick wanted. Or nearly Headless Nick wanted. Where is it? Is this this way, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. No, there he is. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? My question is, why don't your eyes line up, man? Are you squint? <laughs> uh, oh. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Ah, separate Often your head, separate your head. Patrick may help me in that regard. One, of course, also helping you. Uh, what will I do when we get there? Is this dangerous? Yeah, I thought he was going to separate his head to say that, you know, he's not headless, but nearly headless. That's why he needs to get in the good books of Sir Patrick. But, okay, I guess at some point they should separate his head from his body, you know, because why not? <laughs> What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Okay. Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Well, I'm... Isn't my character a tiny bit curious why he wants to take part in a headless hunt? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. Oh. Most of them have heads on. <laughs> Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amset. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like. Ah, finally! 
<laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Poor guy, all he wants to do is race. Right? Like, what, no, hunt, never mind. <laughs> like I said, I'm barely listening. Oh, there's a. Uh, hmm. Find headless hunts game. Oh, you have to find a game? I thought you were finding the guy. Map with floating candles. Yeah, what's this? Oh, we've done this. I see. So hmm. it's just a clue we can find in different places. Doesn't okay. To be connected to the missing pages. Hmm. Best hang on to it for now. Okay, so find the headless hunts game. So it's actually telling us where to go. Wait, where did it go? Ah, here it is. So I think this is... Oh, maybe this is a quick way. It's a shortcut to get places. Right. Hmm. No, no. Can we actually read these? I mean, barely. <laughs> okay, no point uh, wasting time here. Unless... Oh, I heard a bell. And it's somebody here. What? Where though? Oh wait, I actually see a passageway going inwards, so we'll keep it for later. Oh, hello. Hmm. So where exactly is this on the map? Because have I been here before? Well, you tell me this is in Hawksmead. It's actually quite close to it. Hmm, I wasn't expecting that. What's this here? Oh, okay. <laughs> the magic neep. Right, so I guess it's something in the magic neep. It's only that we get to see all the uh, headless ghosts. So I think that's what makes this uh, mission unique, especially in this location. Okay, random treasure. Right. I'm sorry, is that a woman's voice? Because both of them seem to have some form of facial hair. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Alright, and then... Uh, hmm. Oh, there are more ghosts here. I see. Hey, what's this? Hmm. That just destroys the pumpkins. So do these guys also see the... Um, ghosts? Who to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Oh, hello. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once. But five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Agreed. Why, why, why am I doing all this? <laughs> why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. I thought he died like a hundred years ago. What, what, he didn't just show up to the games for the last hundred years? Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Okay. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. Uh-huh. 
Okay. The funny thing is that <laughs> we are actually getting to play the game and Sir uh, Nearless Headless Nick. Nearless? Headless? What? Nearly headless, right. <laughs> Isn't, so I don't know. The rules of the game, so um, <laughs> flimsy. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Okay. Big oh. Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jack Dorf? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Well, he kind of clearly went there, so I don't know when I'm destroying the pumpkins here. Hmm. 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 Oh, this is a fun mission, you know. Hey. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Hello. So what? This ain't over yet. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> okay. Well, I can still see you hide. So it makes me think you're somewhere here, yeah? Hello, where are you rolling off to? You make this look easier than it's supposed to be. Okay, this is really easy. <laughs> Where are you going now? Oh, it's supposedly one of you two. What? Oh. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, there it is. Is it over yet? Are we still going? Hmm. Wait, can we go inside this place? No, this is the magic need. We can't go in here, can we? Right, so is this the last one? This is the last one, alright. Now, he did go somewhere there. Makes me think it's. Come here. Oh, hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you go hey, where are you going? Wow, I'm <laughs> There we go. I'm missing. Hold up. Uh no? Really? Hmm. 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 Is that it? That's it, okay. <laughs> Are in order. Okay, can I come there? <laughs> Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Hmm, who cut off your head? Why did you steal? We actually know the answers to this, so let's just go ahead and say very well. Thank you. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Alright. You know what? I must say, this has been an absolutely fun mission. Or quest. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, after this mission, it really makes it seem as though they did Slytherin House bad. <laughs> like, it's almost a punishment for being Slytherin House. Because the uh, house-specific quest is... Horrid, it's really bad. Like, uh, if you've seen that video, you would know how small it is. It's li literally just passing three of those uh, dung dudes and going into a cave, feeding a squid, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But this, this was fun. And not only this, it, also the uh, Azkaban mission. Right, anyway, so yeah, I think this is going to be the gameplay for Gryffindor House for now, because uh, yeah, I am going to play uh, as a Ravenclaw student. It's going to happen, just. Uh, few other games I've dropped out now, so definitely going to look into those before I get into being an evil witch or wizard. 
out of um, yeah, uh, Ravenclaw house. Also gonna do the house quest then, so I think that's the only one left anyways, so that'd be fun, hopefully. Yeah, for now I actually um, wanted to play a shooter game, so I got the Sniper Elite 5. I had played it a while ago, so I played it again. Only thing is, I didn't record a single video, because each of those videos was going to be so long, considering that every mission is practically every area of the game, and it takes so long to complete those missions. I might upload those videos sometime, but for now, um, yeah, so by the, at the point of this recording, I must say that the Star Wars game has come out. So yeah, I'll be getting into that, and hopefully you'll see a few more videos on that. There's also the Ghost of Tsushima which I have paused for the time being. I have actually made two more videos which have not been launched yet. So I'll be working on those and then uh, yeah. So a lot of projects uh, in the way at the moment. Definitely look forward to completing all of those. They'll be fun. So yeah, for now this is going to be all. Yo, why does the sky seem as though it's uh, squared off? <laughs> I guess because it's a no-fly zone, but that, doesn't, that shouldn't be the case considering that we don't have a broom yet. Anywho, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I surely did. This was certainly a much better mission than the Slytherin one. And it was, I would say, on par with the uh, Azkaban mission. So yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, do leave a like, share this video, and subscribe for more such content. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and goodbye.